Welcome to the Celtic Whiskey Bar. Uh, my own name is Aidan. Uh, I'm going to be going through, uh, hopefully, a brief history of Irish whiskey. Uh, there's a lot to it, but we've been distilling here for 800 years. So, oh, just uh, a minute or two. Just a minute or two. And then we'll go into just a quick uh, sensory kit, just a, a little uh, test to kind of open up your palate a small bit, and then we'll go into a drink of the whiskey. Okay. So, uh, we've been distilling in Ireland since the Middle Ages. They estimated about 12th century. Uh, it was the uh, monks that first started the practice. They brought it uh, here from Eastern or uh, Southern Europe. If you've ever heard of, um, or have you ever seen you know, the little tree hot hives of yes. like skellings? Yeah. We saw them yesterday. So that, that, that's the place where they would have started distilling. It's um, the spirit at the time, it'd be nothing like modern day whiskey. It'd be something very similar to, has anyone ever tried Irish mist <laughs> before? Oh yes. Irish mist, yeah. So okay. it's, it's that. They did they, use uh, herbs and spices and they put honey into the still to sweeten it up. So it's more like a, a, a herbal liqueur even than uh, actual whiskey itself. Uh, the actual first mention of Irish whiskey is from 1405. It's a, it's called the, a text called the Annals of Clan, uh, Clan McNoish. Uh, Clan McNoish was uh, an old monastery in County of Val. But, uh, so basically, this text that was translated, um, it described a clan leader at the time dying, unfortunately, from drinking a suffet of aqua vitae. And that's what they used to call it back in the day, but it used to mean the water of life. Yeah. Now, definitely the whiskey didn't kill him. He was probably out, out of the way already because they used to use it back then as a health tonic. That's why they called it the water of life. It's something to perk you up. Uh, so from, from this going forward, um, like what we would normally do, you see, Ireland is very, very good for growing barley. It's the main grain that we grow here. Our lovely wet climate means that we can grow barley all year round. And because of this, um, whenever we had barley left over from the harvest, uh, what we would use it for is to distill stuff known as pachin. So that's how it. That's how it kind of started getting into more common people's houses and stuff. That's how it kind of took off as a practice. Pachin means small pot in um, in Irish in, in Gaelic. So it's 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 not actual whiskey itself. It's it's um, a neutral grain spirit you call it. So something similar to um, moonshine. It's our version of moonshine. That's it. Mean. So uh, this is what people would normally drink. And uh, this is like up until about 1661, you actually didn't need to register as a distillery. And even up until 1761, you technically, it was a voluntary basis. So because it was voluntary, people didn't do it because they had to pay tax <laughs> on the whiskey they'd make. Or the so it was mainly, uh, a lot of the history is kind of lost to time because it was passed down by word of mouth. And also, people weren't really writing it down, and uh, not a lot of it people were literate, or not a lot of it was even regulated, really. Um, so for, for a good while, uh, we were kind of doing our own thing, really. Uh, the likes, if you've ever been to, up to, say, Connemara or Donegal or anywhere like that, yeah. Yes. Yeah, they were um, probably the, there's a little peninsula in um, Inishowen, in Donegal. <coughs> Inishowen, you've ever heard of it, no? Yep. It's, uh, yeah. yeah. There's a, um, a report from an excise officer down there who, who was taxing stills at the time that he found, he estimated there were 700 illegal working stills working <laughs> just in this tiny little peninsula. So you can see how, how fast spread and how like, kind of common it was that like, you'd have pochine in every kind of house. Uh, it, so we were really making it for ourselves, like pochine and whiskey distillation, we were kind of just doing it for ourselves. Whiskey we'd kind of export or be made mainly in the cities. But it was known as Parliament Whiskey because it was regulated and controlled by the British. Uh, now it only really took off that we started exporting it. It was around 1852 or 1858, the estimated time, there was um, a small little green fly, this little green fly, this little aphid that came over from North America. Nobody really